Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Exciting day today. It is always an exciting day in cooking in town with Joe's Kitchen, isn't it? Today we're gonna make a dolce, uh, which is a dessert, which is a sweet. We're gonna make a Nutella crepe cake. Absolutely awesome, very delicious. It's kind of a spin-off on a, on a French dessert where they would take crepes layer the crepes, you're gonna take about 30 crepes, you're gonna layer them, and then they would put like a buttercream, almond uh, frosting, if you will, between each layer. And as you build it, it makes a beautiful cake. Well, whether you are familiar with this or not, in our family, we are Nutella crazies. In fact, uh, one of my early memories of my grandmother was to have Nutella or orange marmalade. So both of those things, uh, they always stick with me in our mind. So, that being said, I wanna show you how to make them. They're very, it's very easy. I jumped ahead just to save us a little time on filming today uh, with our ingredients, okay? So let's get started. So what we have here is some whipped cream. I took a quart of whipped cream, I put two tablespoons of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. So just to give it a little bit of a hint of sweet and a little bit of flavor, we're gonna layer the whipped cream and alternate uh, with the Nutella and the whipped cream. It's gonna be great. Uh, we've got six eggs. We've got some powdered sugar for dressing. We've got three cups of flour. We've got one stick of melted butter, a tablespoon of vanilla, and three cups of milk. And then I've got two containers, which essentially is gonna be a quart of Nutella. And what I did here, guys, just so you know, I've got it on a double boiler, because the Nutella, you wanna have it uh, melted. You wanna have it easy to work with. If it's room temperature, it's gonna be too stiff. And then I got a crepe maker. So why don't we go ahead and what we'll do is we'll make some crepes. So I'll show you how to make a crepe mixture and I'll, and I'll make a crepe here for you. And then what I'll do is, uh, just to save us time, I'll make all the crepes. I'll be a crepe master, okay? A French crepe master maker. And then when I'm done with that, I'll show you how to assemble it. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so let's get started. So let me grab my, uh, let me grab my bowl. Okay, so I'm gonna take a bowl and I'm gonna take my flour. All right, and I'm gonna take my milk and a gentle stir here as you go. And it's gonna make a, it's gonna make a little bit of a mess here. So just get it going. Your key here is just, you don't wanna have a lot of lumps, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my vanilla and just drizzle that in, okay? Beautiful. And I'm gonna take my butter. And we still gotta do our eggs yet, so take my butter and mix that in. So what to do is rather than just dump it all in, you know, get it mixed up good, and then stir it in. No, no rocket science here, just something kinda easy and fun. And the butter's gonna give it that silky smooth flavor. Anytime you add fat of some sort to the, uh, any type of mixture, that's what it's going to do. It's going to keep it soft and it's going to keep it silky. Kind of that nice background flavor, okay? So I'm going to let that set. This is how I do it. I like to let that set and let everything absorb it. Now I've got my six eggs. So I'm going to show you one of my little tricks here. Um, I shouldn't say trick, but what I'm going to do is, look at that. That's not a trick, is it? Okay, so I'm going to take the egg and one of the bits of advice I think that's a better word always put your egg in a clear container don't crack your eggs over your mixture okay because the one of the issues you'll have sometimes is you'll get a shell that'll pop in and if the shell goes in your mixture you're not going to be able to get it out if you do it in a clear container then what it'll do is you'll always be able to see it and it just makes life a lot easier and then uh, again my other bit of advice is I always like to mix the egg mixture first before I put it in. You'll see I do that with any type of recipe, including my pastas. Why? Because I just want to make sure that everything is thoroughly mixed. And you go. So we're going to mix that up nice. And the egg is going to give it a firmness. It's going to give it that cakey feel. And you get a lot of flavor from your yolks. So, beautiful. We're just gonna stir that in. Beautiful. So a crepe is a, essentially a French design or a French 
a French dessert. And you can do so much with crepes, they're absolutely delicious. Essentially a crepe is like a pancake, if you will. It's like a light, delicate, decadent, I guess, you could use. Now I didn't add any sugar to this. Traditionally you don't add sugar to a crepe because you're gonna, you're gonna let that flavor, the base flavor of the crepe, stand on its own. And then what you'll do is you'll add something, if you will, salty, sour, sweet, that'll add to it. So we're just gonna let this set for a few minutes. And again, I always like to let it set because you want you don't want any lumps in here. You want it really silky and you want it wet. You see how nice and wet it is? So that's gonna flow really nice on our uh, on our crepe maker over here. If you don't have a crepe maker, you're just gonna take a traditional fry pan and you're just gonna make sure nonstick would be ideal. If not, just hit it with a little oil in between your crepes, flip them over. You wanna make sure they're crispy on both sides or almost crispy on both sides. And you can whip them out that way. What's really nice if you're making a cake mixture in this case is uh, we want them all to be uniform. So they're all gonna be nice and the same size, so. Hey guys, all right, so I did one just as a little test. Maybe I should speak on French. And what I did here is uh, I've got my crepe maker and I just have a little bit of oil, uh, just a traditional cooking oil is good, and you just spread it. Now this is a non-stick surface, but I'll tell you, when you put the oil and the oil gets hot, it gives it just that little sizzle. You, you're not necessarily frying it, but it gives you that nice little extra sizzle, which is what you're looking for. So on this one, everyone's gonna have, you know, whether you do it in a pan or crepe maker, but on this ladle here, we're about a ladle and a half is what we got. Okay, so I'm gonna spread it really good. I'm gonna do another, about a half a ladle. There you go. All right, this is kind of fun. There's a place we go in Italy, and whoa, and there's a guy by the name of Michael, if you guys watched our other Nutella one, and uh, with crepes. And he has this, he's on show, man. I'm telling you, the guy's unbelievable. So I don't mean to block your view here. So I'm just gonna spread it. Now, what I like about a crepe maker is you see how it's got that border? So what it does is it gives me an edge to shoot for. And because we're gonna layer these, the advantage you really have here is you can create some uniformity. You know, you can make everything exactly the same. So let me show you how to do it. So I've got this set at the hotter setting. All right, I'll tell you that, there's one right there. Look at how perfect that came out. See how it's nice and crispy on each side? Look at that. Oh my God, that smells good. That is good. It's like a big pancake, right? So I'm gonna let this cook. You're gonna see some holes start to develop and you're gonna see the steam coming up. And when it really starts to steam and you're gonna see the top, if you will, see how this looks kind of cakey? This still looks a little wet. So, you know, a minute and a half, two minutes tops on each side. And then we're just gonna start making them. We just keep making them, making them, making them. So, so that's almost done. So I'm gonna take, you're gonna want two flippers here, right? And you can just check it. So you're gonna come underneath it. Oh, there you go. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that. That's perfect, right? So slide it off, and then you're going to flip it. Whoa, there you go. Look at that. See how nice and perfect that is? And it's the right size. Oh, that smells good. Oh, my God. You know, uh, crepes, you can put anything on them. You know, you can put uh, cream cheese, honey, blueberries. You can uh, spread them uh, if you want something kind of healthy, like a yogurt with blueberries. Agave, something like that, absolutely awesome. Just roll them right up. I would always need maple syrup. I mean, that's fantastic. So I'm gonna let this go for about a minute. Now the other side won't take as long because it's already hot. So see, you're almost there, it's almost there. And you're gonna see it's really soft and kind of fragile, more cakey. And then this one here, see it starts to get nice and almost stiff, which is great. And you'll see it start to bubble. That's great. All right, so I'm just gonna pull her back. Look at that, that's perfect, right? So I'm gonna pull this across, and then I'm just gonna spread it right out on my, on my sheet. That's beautiful. All right, so that's number two, right? So I don't know how many we're gonna get here. I said 30, but I was only kidding. We're probably gonna get anywhere from 15 to 20-ish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend some time, I'm gonna make those, we're gonna stack this up, and then uh, I'll tune back with you, I'll show you exactly how we're gonna assemble this thing, it's gonna be absolutely delicious. Talk to you guys in a minute. Oh my God, it's been three and a half months. No, I'm just kidding, but here we go.
All right, now listen, this is live TV, and I'm a very honest Joe, so I'm going to tell you, I had to double the batch because this type of uh, uh, maker that we use, the crepe maker, it's a little bit bigger than when I use the pan. So to build the cake, it's a bigger cake. I had to double it, so I'm not going to not going to give you any business, okay? So I got my last one right here. Hey, one, two, three. Hey, bravissimo, huh? All right, perfect. That's awesome. I'll tell you, the smell, you know, Italian cooking uh, often uses a lot of eggs, so when you smell that baking and the custards and so forth that you make with uh, Italian cooking, even some of the French cooking, Oh, I love I love eggs. So I love I love that smell. That's that backdrop of the aroma that you get, and then the vanilla and obviously the sugar and oh, the whipped cream. Did I mention Nutella? Unbelievable. We are a Nutella family. We've considered changing our last name to Nutella, actually. Nutella. All right, here we go. Oh, look at that. Is that beautiful or what? Almost looks like I know what I'm doing. All right, look at that. Beautiful. Whole bunch of pancakes. Oh, that smells good. All right, so let's come on right over here. Okay, guys, look at this. Ready? Watch this. Ooh. All right, so some of you guys maybe don't have a spinner, but spinner will make life a lot easier for you, okay? If not, no big deal. You can just turn it right on the uh, right on the table. So, so what I'm going to do here, we're going to start assembling this gorgeous cake. Now, the outside, I made an effort to make the outside as, as nice as I could, so we certainly want to take advantage of that. So you're going to get a nice clean in the center and you're not going to put a lot now you're only going to put again you don't want to you don't want to bite into something massive right but see how nice and warm that is that's going to spread really nice okay good and then I'm going to take a little spreader right see how nice that makes it and we're going to spread so what I'll do is I'll put together a couple of these just to show you what they look like and they're fun I'll tell you you can put these together with the kids but I'll tell you, you bite into this. When I show you the finished product, oh my God, this is great. And I'll tell you, you start assembling a Nutella crepe cake to the sounds of Sinatra, there is no cake that will taste as good as this. Okay, look at that. Take my lips, baby. Okay, perfect, right? So there's our Nutella. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another crepe, all right, and then you got to go slow because you're trying to put this together as perfect as you can, right? It's like contact cement. Once you put it together, right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some, van uh, some vanilla. I'm going to take some whipped cream, right? There's our cream. And, it, and we only put vanilla in here, okay? So, oh, look at that. Oh, that looks good. Beautiful. So what I'll do is I'll just spread this right across. We got all of me planned by Frank. Oh my god, my mouth is watering. The smell, unbelievable. Perfect. Now this one won't stick as bad, okay, the next one. So I'll throw another one on here, and you know, obviously you guys get the you get the thought here. Oh, look at that. Okay, throw a little Nutella on there. So you got probably about three to four tablespoons on that server. Okay, and right, again, see how nice it is? I know I'm repeating myself, but boy, I'll tell you when it's warm, life becomes very easy. So now we got the whipped cream layer, so you, you might have to hold the top because it'll move the top crepe. But boy, when it sticks to the Nutella crepe on the back side, <laughs> it should not go anywhere, so. So let me finish this last one here. I feel like Michelangelo putting together like a sculpture. That's a little exaggeration, but this is fun. Whoop, whoop, losing a little cream. Perfect. That is beautiful. So we're just gonna come right to the edge. Beautiful, look at that. Perfect. And then don't worry about anything that comes out, you can clean up. Or you can leave it oozing out, which will look great. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep assembling this. We'll clean up the outside. Talk to you guys in a couple minutes. Hey guys, welcome back. It's been six months now. No, I'm just kidding. But look how nice that is. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, oh, oh. Now listen, I'm not going to tell you that I haven't nibbled a little bit off the side. I'm not going to say that, okay? So we got our last piece. So there's our last crepe. I feel like a French baker. Beautiful. 
Did you see? Look at that. So we're going to let this, once this sets, it's starting to cool down really good now. But we're going to let this cool. We want to get it nice and cold. It'll get nice and solid, okay? So our last, our last bit here, you can finish the top off any way you want, but I'm going to finish it off with Nutella. And we want to put, we want to cover the top, but we want a thin layer. I'll show you how to do it. Almost like a ganache, like you'd have like a chocolate ganache on the top. And so let me just do a nice thin layer. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, you can do anything you want here in the end, but I'm going to take a little bit of powdered sugar. Okay, and then I'm going to... I'll just, dust it, I'll just hold it up top and then I'm getting powdered sugar on me. Okay. That's what happens when you wear black. That look great. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh! Molto delicio! Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do a nice dollop, if you will, of whipped cream on the top. That's that homemade whipped cream. Oh, beautiful. But then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do this here. So I'm going to fan it across. So, isn't that beautiful? Oh, look at that. Huh? And then what I'll do is, I'll throw a couple down on the bottom. Just again, just to give it a little color. Hey guys, actually what took us the longest was to get most of the Nutella that was smeared all over my face and the confectionery sugar was all over my shirt. So is that absolutely awesome? Uh, is that absolutely awesome? Isn't that fantastic? So that's a Nutella crepe cake. And again, those nice layers and you know, you're making it for family and it's French, you know, you're gonna hear that decadent, but it's just absolutely delicious and so much fun to make. I can't wait to cut this open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it set and it's going to get nice and cold and we'll come back, uh, say like an hour, hour and a half. We'll take a slice, take a shot. It's going to be great. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Oh! And to be honest with you, I'm surprised there's anything left because I've been nibbling the whole time. Alright, so here's our puppy. So the biggest concern you have sometimes on these cakes, if it's not really cold and I'm rushing it just out of time, it can slide a little, so you know, just a heads up, you can always stick something in there to keep it still. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna make an effort here to cut into paradise, if you will. Okay, so so this is just a beautiful cake. It's a bakeless cake, right? I mean really. It's kind of cool. Alright, so we're gonna cut right there. I'm gonna go just like that. Now the goal here we're on TV, right? So the goal here is to try to get a piece. This is live TV. I mean, there's no messing around here. So we're going to try to do a piece here that is as perfect as I can get. No special effects or anything. I'm just telling you. Tony Bennett's playing, in case you're wondering. Oh, yeah. Okay. So far, so good. So far, so good. Oh, my God. This is good. If you like Nutella, you like crepes, you like whipped cream, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm messing up my little, oh boy, look at that, look at that, beautiful. But you know what's beautiful about this cake? Are the layers. All right, so I'm gonna do this in here. You know what? I'm gonna get a different knife. Get a wider knife, okay? And, okay, so. Here you go. So you guys, you gotta look at the inside of this. Look how beautiful that is. So, if you can get in there. See all the beautiful, all the layers. You've got the cream. My, my cake's going here. The cream and the Nutella. Look at everything oozing out. Oh, so good. So that's why you wanna let it set. So we're rushing a little bit just cause we're running out of time. But I've got, I've got some whipped cream, a little, little dress here. I'm gonna put a, the goal here always is to get the perfect bite. And I, I have to say, I don't have a lot of talents, but one of the talents that I have in my life is to almost always acquire the perfect bite. So what I'm gonna do is go here. Here, my mouth is watering. All right, here we go. 
I mean, just the fact that it has Nutella on it means it's delicious. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. That is... That is awesome. If you gave me that cake and told me to sit in the corner, I'd be good. I'm not kidding you. You know, the crepes are great. And because we put the thin layer of Nutella, you know, it's just got a beautiful flavor of Nutella, crepe, and cream. I mean, they go together so well. Because Nutella can be kind of thick and heavy and rich. And then when you just put that whipped cream layer in there, oh my God. Oh my God. We want one more, one more. Mmm. Oh my God. One more, one more. Mmm. That is absolutely fantastic. Guys, is that absolutely delicious? I mean, tell me your kids would not love, you know, making it, let alone eating it. And who cares if it's a rack and a mess? It doesn't matter. It's just something fun to do. It's an excuse to get together with your kids. You know, one of the things you can do is you can take like a cookie cutter container, which we've done before. So you can take crepes and you can cut them in a perfect shape and size, like a cutout, like a cookie cut. And then you could stack it right in the cookie cutter itself or have the kids make and stack them themselves. You can fold it, you can use gelato, you can use anything. In Italy they use everything, M&Ms and Reese's peanut butter cups and heat bars and whatever you want to throw in there. So my favorite is absolutely Nutella as I've probably told you many, many times. But guys, thanks for joining me. This is such a fun dessert to make, like I said, with your family. So hopefully you guys can set a tradition and certainly a heritage with your family. Thanks for allowing me in your living room and sharing my fun, my heritage, my traditions with you guys. Have a great week. Bon appetit. Talk to you next week. It's the